Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to find an optimal path from initial state to the goal state using A star search algorithm with the help of simple solved example. A star search algorithm is an informed search technique which is used to find an optimal path from the initial state to the goal state. In A star search algorithm, the cost of each node is evaluated using the following function f of n is equal to g of n plus h of n, where g of n is a cost from initial state to the current node at n here. Similarly, h of n is the estimated cost from node n to the goal state here. So, using these two things, so we will calculate the cost of each node. Based on this cost, we will select a node and then we will do the same thing until we reach the goal node. To understand the ESTA search algorithm, I will consider this example. In this case, uh, we have been given uh, different nodes. The actual cost is given as well as the heuristic values were given here. The value 1 which is uh, written on the path from A to B indicates the actual cost from A to B. This 3 indicates the actual cost from B to D and so on. And A5 means the estimated or the heuristic value of uh, A. That means the estimated cost from node A to the goal state that is G. In this case, G is the goal state here. Similarly, for all other nodes, the values are given here. Given this uh, graph, we need to apply the ESTA search algorithm and then we need to find the optimal path from the initial state. In this case, the initial state is A to the goal state. In this case, the goal state is equal to G here. Now, we will apply the ESTA search algorithm step by step and then we will find an optimal path here. Now, we will start with uh, the initial state that is A. First, we need to check whether the initial state is the goal state or not. The initial state is A and uh, the goal state is G here. So, A is not a goal state. So, what we need to do is uh, we need to expand uh, this A. Once we expand A, there are two possible uh, paths are there or there are two reachable nodes are there. They are B and C here. So, what we need to do is uh, we need to calculate the cost for B as well as the cost for C. As said earlier, we use this equation that is f of n is equal to g of n plus h of n to calculate the cost for each node here. So, first we will calculate the cost for uh, b in this case. That is uh, cost for b is equal to f of b is equal to g of b plus h of b. Where g of b is what? The cost from initial state to b and h of b is the estimated cost from b to goal node here. So, in this case, if you notice this graph, the actual cost from initial state that is A to B is equal to 1 here. So, that is what I have written. Similarly, the estimated cost from B to goal node, it is present here, which is equal to how much? 6 in this case. So, the total value is equal to 7 here. Similarly, for C, F of C is equal to G of C plus H of C. The true cost from initial state to C is equal to how much? You can see here, which is equal to 4 here. And H of C, that is the estimated cost is how much? 4 here, 4 plus 4 is equal to 8 in this case. Now, we got the cost for both the nodes, that is B and C. The cost for B is equal to 7 and cost for C is equal to 8 here. Between these two, 7 is minimum. So, at this point of time, we will select B as the node for further expansion. Now, once you select B, what we need to do? We need to check whether B is a goal node or not. Right now, B is not a goal node because G is the goal node here. Now, what we do is uh, from B, we will find all uh, reachable nodes in this case. From B, there are two reachable nodes are there. One is D, another one is C here. So, what we do? We will calculate the cost for this C. That is uh, the C which is uh, reached from B as well as uh, this D. To calculate uh, the cost, again, we use the same equation here. So, for this particular C, F of C is equal to G of C plus H of C. Now, what is the value of G of C? The parent of uh, C is equal to B here. So, from A to B, the cost is equal to 1. From B to C, the cost is equal to 2. Addition of these two things is equal to 3 here. Now, what is H of C? H of C is the heuristic value or the estimated value of C, which is equal to 4. So, the total value in this case is equal to 7. Similarly, F of D. F of D is equal to G of D. What is G of D? G of D is the cost from A to B is equal to 1. And from B to D is equal to 3, the total cost is equal to 4 here. From D, the estimated cost is equal to how much? That is 3 here. So, 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 in this case. Now, we have calculated the cost for C as well as D. 
from the parent B in this case. Now we have to select one among the leaf nodes which are having the minimum uh, the cost. So in this case, the cost of C is equal to 7 here, cost of D is equal to 7 and the cost of C where the parent is equal to A is equal to 8 in this case. Among these three, both uh, F of C and F of D are having the same value. So what we can do is we can select any one of these two things and then we can continue from here onwards. So I will select this C. Once I select this C, what is the next thing we need to do? We need to see whether C is a goal node or not. Right now C is not a goal node. So what we do is we will find all reachable nodes. From C, there is only one reachable node that is E here. So once you get this node, we need to find the uh, cost for this particular node. So the cost for this uh, node E is equal to f of e is equal to g of e plus h of e. What is the value of g of e? So, this e is reached from where? C. Who is the parent of C? B here. So, that's the reason g of e is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 5. So, that is equal to 8 in this case plus h of e. h of e is equal to how much? 3 in this case. So, the total value is equal to 11 here. Now, there is only one reachable node from C. The cost for that we have calculated. Now we need to compare the cost for each of these uh, leaf nodes. There are three leaf uh, nodes are there C, D and E. Between these three, the cost of D is minimum that is 7 here. So we need to select uh, this node and then we need to continue from here onwards. Before we continue, we need to check whether D is a goal node. Right now D is not a goal node. So we need to find all reachable nodes from D here. So how many reachable nodes are there? One is F, another one is equal to G here. Now, uh, we need to calculate uh, f of f as well as f of g here. Now, if you want to calculate f of f, uh, we need to calculate the cost till f. What is the cost till f? The parent of f is d, the parent of d is uh, b here and the parent of b is equal to a. The meaning is we have followed this path. That means 1 plus 3 plus 2, that is equal to 6 here and h of f. h of f is equal to how much? 1 in this case. So, the total value is equal to 7 here. Similarly, f of g, f of g is equal to g of g plus h of g. What is g of g? g of g is nothing but 1 plus 3 plus 4 which is equal to 8. 8 plus h of g is equal to 0. So, the total value is equal to 8 in this case. Now, we got uh, 1, 2, 3 and 4 leaf nodes. Now, we need to compare the cost for each of these leaf nodes. Once you compare it, uh, the cost of uh, leaf node f is minimum here that is 7 here so what we need to do we need to select f and then we need to continue from here onwards once you select f what is the thing we need to do we need to check whether f is a goal node or not right now f is not a goal node so what we do is we will expand f here expand means we need to find the reachable nodes so what are the reachable nodes are there from f there is only one reachable node that is g here so, what we need to do? We need to calculate the value of f of g here. So, f of g is equal to g of g plus h of g. So, for this uh, g of g, uh, we have followed this path. That is a to b, b to d, d to f and f to g. You can notice that particular thing from here. Now, if we add all these things, 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, that is equal to 7. And h of g is equal to 0. The total value is equal to 7 here. Now, once you calculate the cost for this uh, leaf node G, there are uh, four leaf nodes are there. And if you compare the cost, this leaf node has the minimum uh, cost here. So, we will select this leaf node for further expansion. So, the leaf node is what? G here. So, once you select G for further expansion, we need to check whether G is a goal node or not. Right now, G is a goal node. Because it is a goal node, we need to stop here. But the meaning of this one is we have reached the goal node from initial state. Now, the question is, what is the path? So, the path followed in this particular case is A to B, B to D, D to F and F to G here. So, that is what I have written in this case. And what is the path cost for this one? The path cost is equal to 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 which is equal to 7 in this case. So, what we did in this case is uh, we have applied a star search algorithm for the given graph and we found the optimal path from initial state A the goal state uh, G as well as we have calculated the path cost. I hope the concept of uh, a star search algorithm is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.